Hey guys, this is Neon, this is Clownfish Gaming, and this is Gaming News on Clownfish Gaming. We're going to talk about how uh, David Jaffe, the creator of God of War, uh, creator of, I think, Twisted Metal as well, he thinks that uh, Kratos took a wrong turn, that he's too soft, that they're not handling his creation very well. So this is a pretty interesting, and it's kind of damning too. We see a lot of uh, you know game developers and uh, you know, writers and uh, creators come out after the fact and be like, yeah, the people that are supposed to be taking care of a franchise I put my heart and soul into are not doing their due diligence. Uh, so we're going to go out and see what he has to say about how they're handling uh, Kratos now and God of War. They think he's too, too soft. He's too soft. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more gaming content, gaming videos, and gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. This is coming from uh, 80 level, 80.lv. God of War's creator thinks that the character of Kratos took a wrong turn. In a recent video released by the creator of the God of War series, David Jaffe, we can see that Jaffe is not fond of the direction PlayStation took regarding the franchise, and in particular, Kratos himself. The franchise initially focused on hack and slash gameplay. Hell yeah. Extreme violence, hell yeah, and an edgy storyline. However, the series concluded with a trilogy and spinoffs in 2018. God of War received a soft reboot, emphasis on soft, that portrayed Kratos in a more mature and nuanced manner, reflecting the developer's own experiences as they became parents. Even though the series received critical acclaim and awards, Jaffe, who did not work on the recent games, believed they deviate from the character's essence and the franchise's spirit. He suggests that personal experience should be channeled into new IPs and characters. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Uh, drawing a comparison to Indiana Jones settling down and becoming a father. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. The new direction of God of War has garnered immense popularity and the best reviews in the series. The recent DLC has impressed fans, solidifying the franchise's success, but he doesn't like it. Let's see what he has to say. This is his, uh, his video on YouTube. Let's back it up here a little bit. These games in the Greek era, perhaps that was our college years, and now we have all grown up and have families of our own. We try to reflect those personal experiences also through Kratos and through some of the other characters he interacts with. Now hmm. Well, I mean that's true. People do mature, but I, I mean, well, I mean, look at the look at the Star Wars prequels compared to the original trilogy. You know, George Lucas. People say that he kind of kiddified the the fandom menace. Uh, fan the phantom menace i'm sorry the fandom menace is something else entirely i can't say that on youtube the phantom menace <laughs> and uh, that is true to an extent and he, it's because he became a dad you know and it was a more kid-friendly i guess uh star wars in some ways but uh now i want to tell you something about this shit um i liked very much i thought uh 2018 was great uh ragnarok not my cup of tea um, but this is the problem with Indiana Jones. I don't want these characters to grow. I don't want, I don't give a fuck what you're going through. <laughs> I love and this I don't mean guy. That disrespectfully, if you're yeah. going to build a brand new IP or you're going to build a character yeah. into the God of War lore and that character is struggling or dealing with your problems that a lot of you guys that have gotten older and girls at the studio have dealt with that's wonderful do that shit all day long yeah but don't take the character kratos or indiana jones yeah and go you know what i'm steven spielberg i'm i'm older now and i'm really into family and i want to tell stories about fathers and sons and god no fuck you <laughs> that is <laughs> oh my god i love this guy I love this guy. Oh my God. I gotta get him on the D-Rez podcast. I freaking love this guy. Uh, yeah, he's right. I mean, this is the same complaint I have about, uh, you know, people putting forced diversity into existing franchises or taking existing characters and turning them into something they're not. I mean, that's totally fine if you want to create new characters or you want to create, you know, characters that exist in the universe of existing characters. But like, there was absolutely no reason or no inclination that Bobby Drake and X-Men was gay. They just decided they were gonna make Iceman gay one day and he wasn't just gay, he was like really super flamboyantly gay. It wasn't even him anymore, it wasn't his personality at all. Like, okay, fine, you could argue maybe he's been closeted or whatever, and he finally had the realization he was gay even though you know, Jean Grey can manipulate people's minds and she kind of maybe put that thought to his head, but whatever, whatever, fine. He didn't have to become so 
freaking flamboyant, and that's because the writer of that Iceman series himself was a flamboyantly gay man. We see people putting self-inserts into these franchises that what they want to write is fan fiction. They're basically getting paid to write fan fiction, and it's all over the place. It's not just video games. It's in comic books. It's rampant in comic books. Um, you know, it's in movies, it's in TV shows. We see it time and time and time again. Like I need to see me reflected in this media that I like, and this is the vehicle I'm going to use to tell my story. It is Mary Sueism. It is people inserting themselves and you should write what you know, for sure. You can always take inspiration from your own life and create new characters and, and, and go about, you know, that and that that has happened on multiple 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 occasions but when you take somebody else's character that might be based on their uh you know perception of the world and then you turn them into something else just because you think it should be all about you and it's already got an existing fan base this is where we run into all these problems you know this is where we run into problems if people would just be like yeah you know what i want to see myself reflected in media let's make new media let's make new stuff but that's hard because, you know, something like Spider-Man's already got a massive fan base. Something like God of War already has a massive fan base. If you create something based on your own life, people might not care. They might not care so much and they might not watch it. So it's it's so much easier to take a shortcut instead of doing the work that the creators of these uh, series did. It's so much easier to just take a shortcut and take somebody else's established thing and uh, kind of kind of attach your own uh, fanfic to that. But I digress. Let's, let's listen to uh, David some more. Not what this character is, whether it's indie or whether it's the goddamn Kratos, okay? I, I, I just stop. You know, I get it. You know what? I, I don't know. It's just like someone needs to be able to tell these people no sometimes and say, look, we love that you're arty farty. We love that you're... <laughs> taking shit from your personal life we love that you're treating the medium and sony always has as an art form as well as a business you know we get it we love it we support it but somebody still needs to step up there and go you need to do all that within the pin that we've put up a fence yes. for you and if you step outside the electric yes. shock collar is going to get you yes you need to do all that within the pin that says this is what god of war is this is what indiana jones is and if you want to make something that's not that that's cool but don't fucking call it god of war yes call it indiana jones that's all I would say. <laughs> oh my God, I love this guy. I have, I have got to give him, got to get him on the podcast. I have got to get him on the podcast. Uh, it's David Jaffe. There you go, guys. David Jaffe, creator of Kratos, God of War, saying he didn't hate these games, but he really wishes that they would have stayed in their own lane. Uh, I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. I think we need more uh, people coming forward and having the balls to come forward and say, hey, this is not what I would have done. George Lucas tried. And they, they shut him down hard. Disney shut him down a couple of times. Uh, first, he said that uh, Star Wars, he sold Star Wars to white slavers. That didn't go well. And then a couple of years later, he was actually at a middle school or a high school giving a talk. And somebody asked George Lucas about Finn. And like representation and diversity. And he's basically like, oh, that's not my Star Wars. No, I did those six movies and that was it. This is Disney's thing. And then he kind of started to go off and tell, he's like, ah, it's not what I would have done. And you can tell his wife was there with him. And I think she's like some big wig at uh, Starbucks or something. She's kind of like, shut up, George. Shut up, George. Shut up, George. And I think they took that video down. But it's very obvious that he was not happy with what was going on. And I got to tell you, Christopher Tolkien, yeah, he's, he's spinning in his grave right now because he... Christopher Tolkien had a reputation for being incredibly difficult uh, when it came to his father's legacy. Uh, some people would say he was outright ridiculous, but now that he's gone, look at how ridiculous Lord of the Rings has become. So he was like, he was like the only thing standing between his father's legacy and the idiocy that is Amazon's Lord of the Rings series and the Gollum video game and all the other crap, the new movies that they're talking about doing, right? So he might've been a hard ass, but some, somebody has to be the hard ass and say, no, this is bullshit. This is not, this is not my father's work anymore. These, these aren't the characters I created anymore. Somebody has to be like, no, these, no, this is it. This is, this is the line. This is the pen. Like uh, David says, and said, look, you can play within these parameters. And that's how it used to be. Like at Marvel and stuff, uh, Jim Shooter, he'd be like, look, th these are the parameters for the characters and you can do so much with them, but they still have to be themselves. You know, um, working on like a, 
kids syndicated cartoon shows. Like you have to put the toys back in the box by the end of the, the episode. You can't do anything that's going to break the toys for the next person because we're writing episodic television. So uh, I don't know. We need to have some people enforce these rules. We need to get less uh, fanfic writers uh, playing in other people's sandboxes is what we need to do. But uh, as long as the money's rolling in, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. So I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more gaming news, gaming content here on Clownfish Gaming. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. <laughs> right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>